Good morning, boys and girls. What we're going to be learning today is series writers always have a lot to write about. So let's review what a series is. A series are books that use the same characters. They don't use I, my, we, or us. That's for narrative writing. What we're doing is series writing. So for example, in Henry and Mudge, we use the same characters for one, two, three different books. Henry and Mudge is a series. They have the same characters, Henry and Mudge, Henry and Mudge, Henry and Mudge, but each book, they go on a different adventure. Book one, Henry and Mudge take a big test. In book two, Henry and Mudge and the tall tree house. In book number three, it's Henry and Mudge in the family tree. So to review, series books have the same characters, Henry and Mudge, Henry and Mudge, Henry and Mudge, but different adventures. This book, they take the big test. This book, they're in a tall tree house. And in this book, they learn about their family tree. Now, how do we write series books? We always use the same pretend characters. So going back to the first slide, in the Henry Mudge books, they only use Henry and Mudge. So in your series books, you should be using the same characters. If your character is Tom, it should be in each story, Tom does this, Tom does something else, and book three, Tom does another, something else. They start a new story in each book. You have book one, book two, book three. You can have things happen in the same place. You can include the same character, their same friend, their same pet, brother, sister, but in each book, you want to keep it the same. And then you also write down different adventures. So you might know some series and not even know that there are series books or series TV. We know Henry Mudge is a series book. Curious George is also a series book because Curious George is the same character in each book, but Curious George goes on different adventures. He goes to the firehouse. He plays with his friends. He goes to the zoo. He goes to the aquarium, but it's always about Curious George. Other books or TV shows is Winnie the Pooh, Max and Ruby, Clifford the Big Red Dog, and Spider-Man. So now, I have an example from a student. He wrote two series books about the same character. His character's name was Mia. In this series book, it's all about Mia and her dog Pepper. And in the book, as you can see, Mia is mentioned all throughout the story. He didn't say one day I went and I and my dog Pepper. No, he said Mia and her dog Pepper. The whole story should be about the character you chose, Mia. And here you can see Mia, 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 Mia. He then took the same name in series two. But instead of it being all about Mia going to the beach, it's about Mia is lost. But you can see he took the same character. And look at the yellow circles. It's all about Mia all throughout the book. I don't see a different name, so he did this correct. Also, your books have the same character name, but it's all, but Mia is on different adventures. In this first series, Mia is at the beach, and it tells me all about the beach, what happened at the beach. She was going with her dog, but then Pepper, her dog Pepper, was gone from the beach, but at the end she found him. In series two, it's still about Mia, but she's on a different adventure. In this series two, she's at the museum. So she, again, and she got lost at the museum. So if we're, again, series books, same character. Let's look at this one, all about Mia. Series two, all about Mia, but Mia is on different adventures. That, this is exactly what you want to try to do when you're writing your story today. Before you write your story, I want you to pick a character name you already used in a story. So right now we're going to pretend, okay, I use this, I use the character Mia. Now you want to create a new pretend character. Since, since this student already used the name Mia, he's going to choose a different name. He can choose the name John. He can choose the name Megan. He can choose the name Cindy. He can choose any name that he wants and start a new series, new adventures for that character to go. So let's go back. So number three, 
He's going to start a new character. Again, it could be John, it could be Megan, it could be Cindy, and Ceres. So now he's going to pick a new adventure for his new character to go on. It's your turn. You're going to write a new fiction realistic story. So the first step is pick a character name from your old story. So I know I already wrote about Mia. Step two, I'm going to create a new pretend character. I already wrote about Mia, so I can pick a different name. But remember, do not use I went to the park, I went to the store, my, with my family, we went to the park. We are not using this. This is a story about someone that you, that you made up in your head. It is pretend. Step three, you're going to create a new series for your character to go on. They can go to the beach, they can go to the school, they can go to the park, they can go to the zoo. Step four, when you have your new character and adventure, you can start to write. Remember, your writing should look like this. You want to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. You want to have a beginning, a middle, and end. You want a problem, and you want a solution. And remember, we want new character names and new adventures to go on. Okay, go ahead.